think fame equals fortune? Think again. While most celebs deliver the star power on camera, not all of them boast bucks in the bank. From reality TV heavyweights to Hollywood blockbuster leading actors, these are the stars who aren't exactly raking it in. Stephen Amell Actor Stephen Amell has starred in the CW's hit show Arrow since 2012, when he became a linchpin for a universe that has grown to include The Flash, Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, and more. But despite the Arrowverse flying high with fans, Amell has a net worth of only $2.5 million. That, after six seasons of Arrow and a supporting role in 2016's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hopefully, Amell's agent can hit the bullseye on future salary negotiations. Stassi Schroeder after small appearances on The Amazing Race and Queen Bees, Stassi Schroeder began waiting tables at Lisa Vanderpump's restaurant, Sir, while pursuing an acting and modeling career. But Schroeder found herself back on reality TV when Bravo launched The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills spin-off, Vanderpump Rules, in 2013. While Schroeder has found steady fame on Vanderpump Rules, which is still going strong after five seasons, the reality star is only worth $300,000, despite side jobs as a fashion blogger and podcast host. Just for comparison, her boss, Lisa Vanderpump, is worth a whopping $75 million. Ezra Miller while Justice League is shaping up to be another black eye for the DC Extended Universe, Ezra Miller's portrayal of The Flash has been heralded as a breakout performance, according to The Nerdist. Fans are hoping that Miller's solo film as the heroic speedster will salvage DC's attempts to mimic Marvel's movie success. Miller has also landed a prominent role in the Harry Potter spin-off series Fantastic Beasts, and with two blockbuster franchises under his belt, you'd figure the young actor would be worth some serious coin. Instead, Miller only has a net worth of $500,000. The TV version of The Flash, Grant Gustin, is worth $2 million. How did that happen? And speaking of The Flash… Michael Rosenbaum While Michael Rosenbaum is best known for his role as young Lex Luthor on Smallville, fans also recognize him as the voice of The Flash on the Justice League animated series. But according to a 2016 interview, he then branched out in pursuit of a comedic acting career. Despite landing a few sitcoms, most were short-lived, leaving him with a net worth of just $2 million. But Rosenbaum has no regrets, noting that he wanted to just take a chance on himself. Alicia Vikander after a critically acclaimed performance in sci-fi thriller Ex Machina, Swedish actress Alicia Vikander landed the coveted role of Lara Croft in the 2018 Tomb Raider reboot. Despite succeeding Angelina Jolie as the video game heroine, Vikander is only sitting on a net worth of $4 million. The first trailer for Vikander's Tomb Raider lit social media on fire, according to Variety, so there's a good chance the role could lead to larger paychecks down the road. Honey Boo Boo after her standout appearance on Toddlers and Tiaras, child pageant contestant Alana Thompson, aka Honey Boo Boo, landed the TLC spin-off Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, but despite the smash hit, the show's namesake only has a net worth of $800,000. Meanwhile, Thompson's controversial mother, Mama June, is worth $1 million, which raises some questions about what happened to Honey Boo Boo's potential payday. Jared Padalecki Supernatural has been such a hit for the CW for 13 seasons and counting, it spawned the spin-off series Wayward Sisters. But star Jared Padalecki is only worth $5 million, despite co-anchoring the popular show for more than a decade. Supernatural is rumored to end after hitting 300 episodes in season 14, but the show could have a few more seasons up its sleeve. Considering its consistent ratings, we think Padalecki should ask for a raise. Kim Zolciak when The Real Housewives of Atlanta launched in 2008, Kim Zolciak rocked the original lineup and went on to land her spin-off Don't Be Tardy. Despite a decade-long career in reality TV and marrying NFL linebacker Croy Bierman, Zolciak is only worth $1.5 million. Zolciak was reportedly forced to sell her boat because of money problems in June 2017. Around the same time, Zolciak's new spin-off show with Nene Leakes was canceled before even one episode was filmed. But thanks to Zolciak and Leakes' social media feud, there's still plenty of drama to be spun into reality gold which could turn Zolziak's fortunes around. Kristen Schaal 
In 2006, Kristen Shaw won Best Alternative Comedian at the HBO US Comedy Festival, and she's been a fixture in comedy shows and movies ever since. Shaw's unique voice has also landed her roles on several animated series, including Adventure Time, BoJack Horseman, Word Girl, and Gravity Falls, as well as Trixie the Triceratops in the Toy Story franchise. Despite star roles on Bob's Burgers and Last Man on Earth, Shaw has a net worth of only $5 million. She even had an eight-year run on The Daily Show, but it appears it takes way more than hustle to rake in the big bucks in Hollywood. Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.